Howdy. At a moment when our economy is growing, our businesses are creating jobs at the fastest pace since the 1990s, and wages are starting to rise again, we have to make some choices about the kind of country we want to be. Will we accept an economy where only a few of us do spectacularly well? Or will we build an economy where everyone who works hard has a chance to get ahead? That was the focus of my State of the Union address, middle-class economics, the idea that this country does best when everyone gets their fair shot, everyone does their fair share, and everyone plays by the same set of rules. This week, I will send a budget to Congress that's built on those values. We'll help working families' paychecks go farther by treating things like paid leave and child care like the economic priorities that they are. We'll offer Americans of every age the chance to upgrade their skills so they can earn higher wages with plans like making two years of community college free for every responsible student. We just have to be smarter about how we pay for our priorities, and that's what my budget does. It proposes getting rid of special interest loopholes in our tax code and using those savings to cut taxes for middle-class families and reward businesses that invest in America. It refuses to play politics with our homeland security and funds our national security priorities at home and abroad. And it undoes the arbitrary, across-the-board budget cuts known as the sequester. Now, I know there are Republicans in Congress who disagree with my approach. Like I said in my State of the Union, if they have ideas that will help middle-class families feel some economic security, I'm all in to work with them. But I will keep doing everything I can to help more working families make ends meet and get ahead. Not just because we want everyone to share in America's success, but because we want everyone to contribute to America's success.